Addressing the information gap, tapping from Kenyans in the diaspora to build new markets and ramping up the current level of value addition have been cited as the key measures that Kenya should take to grow its exports. Now, NTV's Alex Mwangi reports on the deliberations that emerged on the final day of Kenya's trade week. Kenya's exports last year declined marginally to 578.1 billion shillings from 581 billion shillings in 2015. For a country whose economy should be growing by 10% per annum and whose manufacturing sector should be on the upswing, it's a depressing statistic. The cost of production and uh, input uh, to manufacturing our products is still very high. And uh, we've got about uh, 56 to 57% of our exports represented by five products of export base. It, it's not looking good. We're losing our grip in our ESC market as the largest uh, exporter. Uh, to our neighboring countries. Lack of sufficient public awareness on matters regarding exports and an education system which is yet to align itself to the needs of the market have been cited as major impediments in the quest to grow exports. The AGOA platform, which is the Africa Growth Opportunity Act, which is a US-based platform uh, where Kenyans are, uh, have an opportunity to export up to 6,700 commodities. Um, Unfortunately, to date, as Kenyans have only taken advantage of less than 23 of those commodities. Kenyan flowers in Dubai, where I live, I find Kenyan flowers available. But when I inquire from the trader, they tell me they got them from Holland. We have very many flights that are flying every day out of Nairobi into Dubai. There is no reason why we cannot have direct cargo going there. Why isn't the education system matching up to what jobs are needed today. For example, in my business, people assume, yes, you are carpenters. Yes, we are carpenters, but we don't use very manual systems anymore. We use digitized machinery. So whenever people come for a practical interview, which lasts a week, most don't survive. And they start saying, Madam, please train me. I'm like, I'd love to train you, but I'm not a training institution. Manufacturing is central to Kenya's realization of an industrialized economy. To achieve the desired level of industrialization, however, involves inculcating an innovative and independent mindset among the youth right from their formative years in primary school. How are we going to make cars if we've never touched metal, for example, if we don't know what fiberglass is? We don't even make forks, spoons, knives in Kenya. Our fork is 80 bob. How are we importing forks? Why wouldn't we be making our own forks and our own spoons, our own cups, glasses? Come on, guys, it's not rocket science. It pains me not to see the Ministry of Education in these conversations involving trade. The Kenya Trade Week comes to an end after much discussion about growing Kenya's economy and in particular, expanding her volume of exports as well as enlarging value addition. The success of this forum will, however, be determined by the extent to which the recommendations made here will actually be implemented. Alex Mwangi, NTV.